Rocks and Logs. Hey guys, welcome back to Sensei's Journey. I'm the Anime Trainer, and uh, today I went to uh, see the giant sequoia trees um, in Kings Canyon Park in uh, California. About to walk through a tree. Oh. I see it. Oh. I'm in a tree cave. Oh. Tree cave. Is that Majin Buu's house? That's super split. What in the... In the woods. On a mountain. In California. And uh... Elevation is a little higher than anticipated. You can definitely feel that. Not used to that. I have found the rocks. Welcome to my happy place. Giant rocks everywhere. This is where we will be staying for the next six months. According to this, the cabin was built in 1872. But there are nails. Look at them, they're big nails. That place is beautiful. Um, one of my favorite things to do is check out like natural wonders and, and like, you know, the, the, the things that are just like on the planet. I could give a crap about cities and, and you know, construction stuff. And you know, that's nice and whatever the pyramids. And then I'm much more uh, impressed with the things that naturally exist out in the world um, as, as things of beauty. Um, and so it was really cool to be able to see all of these giant freaking trees um, that were just like, you, you know, you hear that they're big and you see photos and videos of them, but you don't really get it until you're there. Um, and I got to see a bunch of really giant rocks. And if you know me personally, you understand that I love big rocks. And I don't know why, I just love rocks. Um, so, you know, eventually I'd like to have like a massive boulder on my property, uh, whenever that happens. Um, and then maybe I will move it one day. I wanted to share some of the, uh, the photos with you and some of the videos and some of my thoughts on, uh, things while I was up there, um, because I was at about 6,000 feet altitude and you can definitely feel a difference in the, in your breathing. Um, just walking up a freaking hill uh, if you're not acclimated to the higher altitudes. Um, and so that was definitely different. Um, so feeling that, you know, the difference. And so I could imagine being at like a sea level, training at sea level for, for a very long period of time, and then maybe having a, an athletic event at a, um, at a higher elevation. I imagine that greatly affects your uh, performance. So um, that, that was definitely interesting to experience that because I don't, I don't think I've ever been that high up before. And I understand 6,000 feet is not like the highest place, um, but uh, it was definitely different. Um, and then, so we went, it was a very, very hilly. Hey, does anybody want to do hill sprints? Obviously, because it's a mountain. Um, and uh, got to climb up on some some rocks and then look out over a huge expanse. Um, and uh, I also found like there's, in all of these trees, there's these little spots that you can just kind of sit in um, if you want to. And it reminded me 
uh, when Baki goes to visit the big tree out in the wilderness um, that he found when he was uh, training in the mountains uh, to fight the Yasha ape. And he goes back to that kind of repeatedly and he, he treats it as like a, uh, an instructor of some type. He'll just go, you know, meditate there and, be, and become, you know, kind of one with nature. Um, and that's, that's definitely something uh, that I, I kind of want to get more into is becoming more one with nature in the sense of um, being in it more um, and uh, being calmer and stiller. Uh, and so uh, I'm definitely going to start looking into doing more meditation practice because um, that's definitely something that's pretty uh, helpful for most, a lot of very successful people meditate. Um, so time to bite the bullet and just, you know, meditate on a regular basis. Um, but uh, I, I kind of wanted to address the idea of being in nature as a human being. Like obviously we, we're, we're humans and we have the ability to make all sorts of things and we have uh, just a, an incredible ability to shape the world. But there's something missing in us, I feel, if we don't regularly get into nature in some form or fashion. Um, so I would encourage each of you to try to get into nature, you know, every so often, one, you know, once a week, to, uh, you know, like once every other week, just go out, go into the woods, walk around, be present in nature. Um, doesn't it, just any kind of nature, just because the natural world is, is part of us and we sort of forget that when we live in uh, in a society uh, for too, peri too long a period. Um, and I think you can see that in, in Grappler Baki, um, definitely, because Baki goes from being in a, uh, in, in a super, super like uh, rigid training structure with a bunch of professional trainers, the best equipment in the world, and he realizes that he is missing something. And what he is missing is that connection with nature. And so he ends up going into the mountains to train, uh, to become stronger, um, and ends up fighting the, the Yasha ape, but that wasn't his necessary, necessarily the reason that he was going. Um, but he, he ran hills and he climbed ropes and he hit trees and uh, he did lift weights, obviously, because he had the bench out there with the, uh, the barbell and whatnot. Um, but he spent time being, you know, just taking advantage of the natural world and all of the, the uh, things available for training in that setting. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that you can do with nature. You don't need a gym, per se. Uh, you can get really strong and really fit just with rocks and logs and trees and and and, and climbing and, and running hills and, and any number of things, swimming, and you become, uh, a, in some senses, a better human being uh, because you move in the ways that human beings were intended to move. That that whether or not you you know say that we were designed or we we evolved or anything like that. We, we were made to move in certain fashions. And when we get into nature and we move in those ways, not only is it better for our bodies, it's also better for our minds. We, I can definitely tell you that there is a cleansing sort of thing that, that happens when you are in nature for a period of time. For, you know, any, in, in, for me, any period of time, but just, you know, if you stay in nature and you just sort of like get into the flow of what it means to be outside in the world. Um, so I kind of wanted to, to talk to you guys about that a little bit. And, uh, and what's your opinion on that? Do you guys feel like uh, being in nature is beneficial? Um, do you feel like you'd much rather just stay in your chair uh, in front of your computer screen? Um, or, you know, for those of you who train on, on a regular basis, do you feel like um, that you get everything that you need in the gym setting? Or maybe it might benefit you to get out into the world and uh, get a little dirty sometimes. Uh, 
leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, and if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, you should probably do so because there's various uh, workouts that we do here and I talk about various topics. Um, and I do take requests for those topics of conversation. So if you have topics that you'd like for me to talk about, you can leave those in the comments also, or you can message me on Twitter at the anime trainer. Um, and, uh, we'll just, you know, go through that stuff. I've already got a list of stuff that people have requested and I am going to go through that stuff. Um, I kind of took a break from that list just because, um, you know, I'm traveling and it was a really cool thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you've enjoyed some of the sites that I've showed you in this video. Um, and, uh, yeah. So thank you guys very much for watching and, uh, until next time, good luck and train hard. Log.